Gori, I guess I assume that the project was a little bit more introduced than it was. I, my apologies. So we should go from the macro to the micro, okay? So all these drawings that we did was pretty much when you, pr when you pretty much got to the site. The overall site you did cover, it's in La Jolla, you saw pictures of it in 121 and, and did the sun, sun angle analysis, right? Okay, so that part, no, sir, did you guys see the, the Google map, Google Earth version of this? Okay, and we said that it is a hypothetical site, so it doesn't really exist, but we're just, we're just saying that it's there, okay? So this thing right here, you said on the project prompt that the that the water, the ocean, is on the west. So we have to take a line somewhere on this topo and just kind of say that say that that is the ocean. Okay. So once that is once we establish the ocean, now we now now it makes a little bit more sense of why we want to face the view towards that direction as well. It is kind of channeled in a way with the trees and stuff, so there's really only one way. You have you have your views being that that while you're here, there's while you're at the site, you have trees and everything out this side, you have your trees along this side and along this side right here. So your your view is only limited to maybe that that and that okay so let's take a step back from this axis drawing that we made the axis drawing actually starts from the overall map so we have and then So that is a more of a viewed out version, zoomed out version of this thing. But just know that the ocean is somewhere along here. Okay, and then that means that our views are also controlled as by saying that <clears throat> that through this through these trees, all the positive views may be really positive views are out here. And especially since uh, the sunset and all that, okay? Maybe some of the positive views are, maybe some of the positive views, maybe if we like the, the village view, it's plus symbol there. Maybe across here, there's really no view at all. It, I guess trees could be considered a positive view, but that's just for sake of argument. We'll say, I'm not interested in those trees. So we'll say, few negative things about that. Okay, so we have that's another decision that you made in the views. So I drew smaller positive symbols over here saying that that's an okay view. For some of you, it might you might just argue that and I don't like people and that's a bad view. <laughs> Put a negative on that side. But, you know, that's up to you. But keep in mind that that's another uh, part of the analysis that you can, you can take or you can extract from. So the main thing to get out of this is that the positive view being on the Pacific Ocean is this side. The rest will just kind of make it up per your interpretation of how you like the site or how you like the views of everything, okay? So after that come these guys, more of the micro part of the site and what's happening right on the site. Okay. Any question on this, these points? We have the views here, 
we have the axial arrangement here, so that axis gets transported to this micro view and, and so on and so on. So we always begin from the bigger information down to more of a detail. And that's when we start doing this. Well, maybe detail from, further detail from that is a little entrance response on your building itself or your light wells or the windows or such. Okay. Thank you. Um, if we still have a lot of time, if we could, if you could finish these diagrams, we could just go ahead and go into the labs and start working on on the subtractive elements of, of this project. Or did you already start that in just class? Okay. So the 30 by 30 cube, we know that there is a three foot plinth, right? So got that. So any subtractive element goes goes above that three foot line. What is going to be expected for homework is that uh, you do this model and you're going to print it out in an unroll. You guys did do unroll, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you're going to you're going to design the major subtraction and then unroll it. And basically, well, one of these you won't need because it's at the bottom. You're going to make a slip cover for your your box that you have. Once you make the slip cover, then you could put it on the model and decide, make more decision choices then. Uh, then, well, we used to make the students draw on the, on the little cube, but I think this way will work better because because the digital portion and the design portion is a little bit more integrated now. So you can start designing uh, on the computer and then bring it back for testing in the lab environment. Okay, so that's what's kind of going to be expected of you to finish these diagrams, finish the response to the uh, condition and response form, and then to create a 3D model, initial model of your of your design derived from your findings. Print it out, make a little slip cover, and then put it onto the cardboard box that you made for today. Okay, any question on that? Any Just so that we're clear, we're good with unrolling everything to make a flat view, right? We haven't done that. Did you make 2D? Yes. Okay. But unroll command you haven't covered. 